will always say I'm from South Dakota. I was real young when I lived there. But through high school, middle school, spent it in Wisconsin. Worked through high school, middle school, doing dairying, working at different farms back there. And then there's a family background out here of agriculture. Well, I'm Sarah Harder, and I'm from Wisconsin. I've always lived in Wisconsin my whole life. But I have no prior farming experience or ranching experience. Since I've met Josiah, that's like all I've done in this world. But it's been really exciting. Before that, I was at the Air Force Academy for a little bit, and then I was just doing high school back in Wisconsin. As of Sunday, we're officially married. Yeah. Went back to Wisconsin. And Put a ring on it. Yep. <laughs> I came out to South Dakota to help out Josiah and his friend Dry, and I more so just came for socialization. And then I ended up getting a lot of good socialization. We ended up having to go get nine galloways in Montana from South Dakota. So it was like a 32, 35-ish total hour drive through the mountains at night, all through the night. But that made it more exciting. And yeah. we were like pushing against the clock to get there on the right time. Usually when we do something, something goes wrong. But that makes it more exciting and interesting, like getting home with our trailer. Yeah. If it would have been a normal drive, it would have been a little boring. But this made it a little exciting. Problem solving. I'm a big dreamer, so I've got a lot bigger plans, but I mean, this wouldn't be a bad life right now if you were just with a full-time job and moved cows around every day. It's not like there isn't a lot of work to it. It's hard work, but it's good hard work and it's meaningful. I would say we've got a great quality of life, but we don't always necessarily have. We're not always gonna be able to use the air conditioner, or we're not always gonna be able to have running water. I knew I could rent the land, but I couldn't rent a house. And so we're living in a thousand dollar camper, and it's, you know, a mix of solar and a gas generator and rainwater and hauled in water. And it's all off grid. But we're just three kids in a pile of fence posts and a pickup. In terms of economics, a two inch blade of grass is so much forage across the ground and a 12 inch blade of grass is a lot more than two inches of grass or whatever. So we're just trying to get the grass as tall as we can before the cows go mow it down. You just make sure that they leave a little bit behind. And, but the point is we're leaving, leaving some leaves on the ground and we're leaving some roots in the ground. At the end of the day, people make it really complicated what we're trying to do, but it's not. We're moving cows. You put up fencing, you, you give cows grass. It really comes down to being a logical thinker. I mean, that's all we've really got to do is you just look at it and say, like, does this make sense? If there was something better we could be doing, you know, and maybe cost like a little bit more, generally we do that, but really it usually comes down to, you look at the buffalo. Like the buffalo didn't pay anybody to feed them and they, they grazed all winter long wherever they were. Like there was no, there was no infrastructure. There was no big tractor bringing them feed every day. There was no expensive mineral mixture. There was, there was just grass and prairie and fire and buffalo and Native Americans. Now, there is some nice technology that saves us time and saves us our backs. So I'm not opposed to technology, but Again, it's what Wendell Berry talks about in appropriate use. Our, ma our management, I'd like to, I'd like to think of it as common sense. Our management is really just whatever the common sense thing to do is, is what you do. That doesn't necessarily mean it's always the, the best quote unquote business choice. You know, there's some choices we've, I've made this spring that I would argue is better for our health or better for the land's health. 
that maybe wasn't the best business practice. You know, maybe there's a way we could have squeezed more money out or we could have made more, but you got to take care of yourself too. You got to take care of the people you're working with. It's a better life to move the cows and just live and, and breathe and, and it's just way more relaxed. If you, if you want to do it, you can do it. We're, I'm a proof of that. It's above, above all else below God, it's me and Sarah. And below that, if we have kids, it'll be our kids. And then below that, it's the farm.